God told me today. He said, Dave, don't pump anybody. So let me get that out of the way. I won't be pumping anybody to worship. So if you want to worship with me, fine. I lead the worship. Worship with me, but I'm not pumping anybody tonight. The second thing God told me was that they, the church has enemies. Yes, we have enemies. And because we had such a victory last night, the enemy is hungry. He's going to be trying to attack them. So guess what? He told me to tell you, warriors, arise. Come on now, warriors, arise. Who's going to praise with me tonight? I'm in war mode. You know why? Because the devil's attacking me the whole day. My belly never stopped burning me from morning to night. It's just now, when I step through the sanctuary doors, I felt something different. I felt at ease. Look here, I'm in war mode tonight. Are you going to worship with me? Satan's kingdom is going to come under pressure. There's a saying in Jamaica that we have. It says, pressure bursts pipe. Am I saying it right? In proper English? Pr pressure what? Causes pipes to burst. But in part, I will say, pressure must pipe. Pressure must pipe. We're going to put the devil's kingdom under pressure tonight. Is somebody here going to fight with me? Is somebody here going to be brave? Come on, let's sing that song. Fight, be brave against all evil. Never run. You must fight, be brave on, against all evil.
should be and forever. Let's sing that song right now. Now on to the king eternal. I'm not talking anybody.
on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. If the Lord has been good to you, say yes. If your soul has been blessed, say yes. I'm glad that I'm in the good old gospel way. I'm glad that I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. Do you love this experience, saints of the Most High God? Do you love what you have? Do you enjoy the Holy Ghost? Do you enjoy being in this salvation? Come on, we clap our hands and glorify the great God of heaven. Somebody praise him again. a good old chorus. He said, I'm in the good old gospel way. That's the way I mean to stay. Before we sing though, tonight I start by greeting all the ministers in the house. I love to see the ministers jumping and worshiping God. I feel like I can go on. I see the bishops out there and running back. I see all the ministers running out and running back. It feels like the 24 elders of Revelation that just bow down and worship God. Come on, we put our hands together and glorify God for all the leaders in the church. Good leaders, strong men that love God and that lead us in the way that we ought to go. Oh, can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the Lord? We, we did not hear from the leaders last night, but we're going to hear from the bishops and all. Well, in, in a short, very short way, we're going to hear from them. But here's what we are going to do. I greet the household of faith. I greet every visitor in the house. If you're in the auditorium tonight, whoever you are, I greet you. I salute you in the exalted name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. I know that we have brethren coming from praise sanctuary. I know that we have brethren coming from courts of praise. I am seeing that we have brethren from Shiloh Apostolic. I realize that we have brethren from Kenya in Africa. I recognize that we have brethren from other places like Precious Faith. I don't care where you are from. I see that we have brethren from South Camp Road, Bethel Apostolic. It doesn't matter where you're from though. What I want you to know, that if you are washed in the blood, baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, I salute you. As a son or daughter of God in Jesus' name. And it's good to have you in the house tonight. If you're a visitor, you're not saved. You don't know what we are talking about. And you are in the house. I greet you in Jesus' name. You're in a good place. And we give God thanks for your coming tonight. You are our guest of honor. And we bless you your great name Jesus thank you for allowing them to come and you are here tonight it's not by chance we were on fire last night and we saw God moving in the altars and guess what the enemy going to show up but as the bishop said last night we are in warrior mode hallelujah we didn't fast those 12 days for nothing and he's going to show his head but Jesus stole us out of stamp and taught us out of stamp and how to crush the head of the serpent. Let him show his head if he's bad. We know how to crush it in praise and worship. And so we greet everybody in the house tonight. We have to be quick with this one. And we just have to do it how we normally do it. Pastor Grizzle, I greet you tonight in Jesus' name. Sister Grizzle, I greet you in Jesus' name. Sister Matthew, I greet you in Jesus' name. Sister Daly, I greet you in Jesus' name. And we don't have to call all the names. I can do it again tonight, you know. Bishop Brown wasn't here last night, but you're here tonight. 
Sister Brown is in. God bless you. Let's put our hands together. Bishop and Sister Brown, in. God be praised. We are happy to have you in the house tonight. And tonight we are going to hear from some of our leaders. But just before I call them to give us a brief greeting. They ask the saints of God that are at the front. Let's have a little fellowship. We, we, we said it last night and we are saying it again tonight. You don't have walls that are coming in to say that you are tight. We have a little space. So let's greet the brethren and greet the visitors and just let us have a time of fellowship in the Holy Ghost before we move on. What does the psalm say? Something in my heart like a stream running down. It makes me feel so happy, as happy as can be. When I think of Jesus and what he has done for me, something in my heart like a stream running down. Come on, musicians, sing us, lead us off in Jesus' name. Leave us in.
we say greetings, we say welcome, we say let's continue to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth and in the beauty of holiness. God bless you tonight. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We greet our visitors from South Carolina. We greet our visitors from New York. We greet our visitors from Florida. We greet our visitors from the Cayman Islands. Bishop Clark, God bless you, sir. I thank God that you availed yourself in the midst of your busy schedule to be with us. Sister Clark, God bless you. I saw you pressing on Bishop last night while he was preaching. It was good to see you pressing him on. Amen. Even if nobody else said amen, she was right there pushing him on and making sure that he was going. But the church stood with him and we bless the Lord for you for coming all the way here to be with us. To God be the glory. Who is at the end? I see, I see Pastor Simpson at the end. And you know, praise God. Yeah, that won't work tonight. That was for last night. But tonight we invite Pastor Simpson to come, followed by Bishop Brown. A quick one from, we're leaving, we're leaving Pastor Sammy and Pastor Joseph for Wednesday. But we want them to say something special to us. And if you didn't know, they are from Africa, Kenya, where we went and did a work last year. God bless, put your hands together for our brothers from Kenya. Praise God. Let me ask Pastor Simpson to come first and to greet this house in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Stand up and shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. In Jesus' name, I really would like to greet our senior pastor, Pastor Grizzly and First Lady Grizzly and all the other ministers and brethren and all our friends and visiting friends, everyone. Greet in Jesus' name. I am sure tonight that Jesus is in our midst and tonight we will chase every devil. We will conquer tonight in the name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that the blood covers us. Jesus is here. The angels are here. Tonight is a night of victory. Can somebody stand and shout? Hallelujah. Thank you. 
need to get somebody by the way. And the man just drop him, no one can pick up nobody, drop the gate and say, I'm going tomorrow. So look here, God is doing a work as far as Crossroads, as far as St. Thomas, God is drawing people. So make sure you're here tomorrow night, praise God. And earlier tomorrow at about 3 30, I'm asking all young people, let's young people say hallelujah. Okay, so tomorrow we'll be full. All young people, you're my people, you know my artists, right? Make sure you're here tomorrow for a youth rally. And if you're coming from Faith Chapel, must be leaving. So make sure you're there on 315. Praise God. So those are the announcements. So before we collect our offering, I just wanted to say a few words. Let's see if I can get it right. One a sifi way. One a sifi way. E baba boke sifa. Do I have it right? E baba boke sifa. Praise the Lord. Glory be to thy name. Praise God. Let's practice it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Ushers, can you come? Now, during the collection of the offering, we'll be blessed by the ministry by Sister Renee Taylor. Praise God. Now, as you give, please bear in mind that we're asking to give. We're going to be using what we collect to help in the work in Kenya. Praise God. So God is doing a great work. Every time you post a picture or somebody baptizes and you post a picture, I like it, I share it because I'm giving God thanks for what he's doing on that side of the window. Praise God. Sir, can you just bless the offering? Let us pray for our Father, from the power of the Spirit, we are here to give you glory, honor, and worship. In this special moment, we're about to take an offering to this sister. Father, let everyone that stretch and bless be blessed. Let this cash be used for souls to be burned into the kingdom of God. Let it be multiplied and be multiplied in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you tonight. For victory, 
turn to the person on your left or on your right and ask them that question right now. Look into their eyes. Ask them, is it well with you? Hey, hallelujah. Come on, ask them. Hallelujah. If your spirit doesn't connect with their spirit, hey, glory. Just touch them on the shoulder and say, it can be well with your soul tonight. The Bible says there's one God, one faith, one baptism. If you're not yet baptized in that name, if you're not yet filled with the Holy Spirit, you've not yet put on that name, then you have not received the spirit with which I'm speaking about. Then you can't sing the song of a truth. It can't be well with your soul until you fulfill the plan of salvation. Hallelujah. Turn to the person on the other side. Ask them, is it well with your soul? Tell them it can't be well. I think I'm doing a great work tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to agree with me if you're just coming in tonight. Please agree with me. Come on, let's believe that God is going to do a wonderful work tonight. Lift up your right hand, everybody. Come on. Lord, I believe you're going to be doing a great work. Help me to be a part of this work. Lord, I submit my will to yours. Right now, Lord, for the rest of this service.
your voices at the same time glorify him you are worthy to be praised mighty God hallelujah 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 glory 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 we bless your great name and we thank you for your awesome presence in the house Praise God, praise God. We need not do any further introduction for the preacher tonight. He was introduced last night and then he declared the word of the living God. And we just want to hand over the pulpit to him at this time. But just before, I invite Bishop Clark to come and to deliver the words of the living God. I really feel good tonight and very happy. Bishop Dunkley and the saints from over there in Lake Spen, we are, God bless you, God bless you, Bishop Dunkley. We recognize you in the house and the saints from over there at Lake Spen. God bless you. Thank you for being here tonight. We recognize in our midst also Bishop Dennis from over there at Waterloo Apostolic Santa Cruz. Over there, God bless you, Bishop. God bless you, and if there's anyone with you, we welcome you in the house tonight. It is good, and I love when brethren get together like this to worship and to glorify God and to declare the words of the living God. And let me ask the saints from all around at this time just to help me to welcome to this pulpit to declare the words of the living God. Saints of the Most High God, please receive and welcome at this time Bishop Dolbert Clark and the Holy Ghost. Receive him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you, Reverend. Just lift your hands. Like you know, that you know, that you know, that these are your antennas. It's not on the radio, it's not on the car, it's not on some kind of electrical or electronic equipment, but they are hooked on to your shoulders, and these are your antennas. When you raise your hands, it's not just a mere form. It's a strong word to God saying, I am over here. Open your mouth, lift your hands in the air. Hallelujah. 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 You're saying something. You're touching God. When they raise the pole on the radio, on the car, or in the house, you notice you get a clearer reception because the antennas are up. And so they are now transmitting, amen. The satellite can do a better job. And that's why the Bible said we should come into the house of the Lord with a praise, with Amen. With a song. You can raise your hands right now and open the heavens. Say something as you open the heavens with your hands raised. Hallelujah. 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 serve an awesome God. We 
serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. And you shouldn't be tired to praise this God. He is awesome. He is awesome. He is awesome. He is an awesome God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a joy, what a pleasure it is to be back in this national arena, this room that is now filled with the presence of the Lord. What a joy it is to be here. There is an awesome presence in the house right now. Hallelujah. I will not stop the praise from going up right now. I will give you the go ahead to keep on praising the King. Hallelujah. No wonder he said he lives. Hallelujah. In the praise, he inhabits the praise. Come on, raise your hands and let a solid praise go up. Let a solid praise go up. He deserves it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, shake somebody's hands and talk to them like like you know that you know that they're alive and they can hear you come on tell somebody neighbor you're in the right place at the right time for your miracle come on turn around to the next person and tell that person neighbor yes you're in the right place at the right time for your miracle Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let everything that hath breath, let everything that hath breath, oh God, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. As I take the time out to salute the Holy Spirit who have come to bless tonight in this room. Amen. The Father of this house. And his dear wife, uh, Reverend uh, Grizzle, and uh, First Lady Grizzle, amen. God bless them. Praise the name of the Lord. May the hand of the Lord be upon you, sir. May the strength of God reach your being tonight. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your work is not yet completed. Amen. Praise God. God bless you to the on the shepherd and angel of the flock amen elder reverend uh, daily oh praise the name of the lord i salute you sir and your dear wife and family in the name of the lord jesus christ praise god to bishop McHugh. amen uh, dr dennis uh, and mr shevens one of my armor bearer amen praise the name of the lord and to uh the College of Bishops and Overseers and Pastors and Supervisors and Leaders, amen, who are now sitting in the, on the platform and maybe in other areas uh, in the uh, arena, I salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to our beautiful choiristers, our musicians and technicians and multimedia personnel and to all of God's wonderful people, to the precious unsaved friends of ours that might have uh, come tonight, might have been here, amen. You are so very special in this room, amen. God didn't come to call the Christians. He didn't come to call the righteous. So if you see an unsaved person or a backslider anywhere around, just slip your hand in their hands and tell them, amen, you are the main reason for us being here tonight. Praise God, amen. It is such a joy to be here in the presence of the Lord to swell the name of the Lord with you. Put your hands together for the technicians and uh, the multimedia personnel. 
Amen. And they need to know how special they are in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, my wife is with me. Praise God. Uh, Sister Clark, she's here. As a matter of fact, my household is here. Uh, Daniel and Navia. Amen. Evangelist Henry. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, Pastor Clayton. Amen. He's sitting somewhere there. Praise God. And to all uh, those who are folks from the Cayman Islands, amen, sitting here, there, and everywhere, amen, we're so very thrilled and blessed uh, to be here tonight and to be in the presence of the Lord, hallelujah. The spirit of expectancy is the breathing ground for miracle, amen. Come on, tell somebody, the spirit of expectancy is the breathing ground for miracle hallelujah hallelujah god is an awesome god and he wouldn't just bring you here to sit and look but i believe he brought you here to bless you my god what a great what great singing we have heard here tonight amen the choir really really is singing praise god praise god praise god put your hands together again for the choir, amen. Give them the rose, but when they are still alive, don't be jealous and covetous now. Say something. Amen. Praise God. What great singing we have heard. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to a passage of scripture, amen, which is taken from the book of Revelation. Praise God. Revelation, Revelation. Grab your Bibles, jump to your feet, split them, don't tear them, amen, and let's go to, amen, uh, a few verses of scripture, amen, from the book of, the book of uh, Revelation. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. Praise God. Stand with your Bibles in your hands. Stand with your Bibles in your hands. Mm. We're going to do verse, verse 1. Verse 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. Amen. You'll find it. Say amen. Praise God. If you don't have a Bible, share with the person who is beside you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 1. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis, write these things, saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works that thou hadst a name that thou livest and are dead verse 2 be watchful and strengthen the things I didn't hear the church I want to hear the voices of the people reading this right now read it in the devil's ears be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy work perfect. For emphasis, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, everybody say watch. Everybody say, watch. I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Stretch your hands in this direction and pray as God to give us a word tonight. Come on, open your mouth and ask the Lord to give us a word in the house. 
Father, we bless you for this word. Thank you for your rich and powerful and awesome anointing. Ah, these little lumps of clays that are here standing before you in this auditorium like a worm, like a crawling worm, because we're but worm in your presence. We ask at this time that your mighty name will be exalted. Lord, your credit is good with us. We subdue the forces of hell right now. We apply and reapply your blood to the core of the souls of your people. We ask you now to bring deliverance in this house by the power of your spirit. We seal and deck these prayers now with your efficacious blood. Release your blood now in the atmosphere that the prince of Jamaica, the demonic prince of this region, will loose his cold fingers from all the hearts and soul of your people. We declare war against the monsters of the soul of your people. Bless now we pray in Jesus name. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence, in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, I still feel in the atmosphere, the Lord is saying, give me some more praise. I can hear, amen, the begging voice of God saying, give me some more praise. He, he said, it's the praise that keep me around you. He said, I inhabit the praises of the saints. He said, I live in the praises of the saints. I live in the praises of the saints. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, say something, open your mouth and say something. God is good. God is a good God. Solidly good, perfectly good. There is nobody like him. He is our all in all. He is our bread of life. He is our shelter. He is our healer. He is our deliverer. He is our all in all. Somebody clap your hands one more time and tell him thanks for being so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The end of all things is at hand. The end of all things is at hand. Turn to the neighbor beside you and tell that person the end of all things is at hand. If you want a better Subject, behold, I come quickly. Behold, I come quickly. As you, Reverend Daly, have announced this end time uh, crusade in the, uh, the national arena in this part of the beautiful land of wood and water. Jamaica. I believe with all my heart that this is not a coincidence, but I believe the thing is just right. It fits because we are at the very end of the age and the church could be snatched anytime now. We have seen more than signs to show to tell us uh, that something is happening on the horizon. Come on, somebody. Don't buy no car that you cannot leave. Don't build no house that you cannot leave. Don't 
set your mind on any bank account that you cannot leave because at any time the church and when I say the church I mean I don't mean a building I mean the ecclesia the body of Christ could be snatched at any moment now oh praise the name of the Lord our world is in trouble government is in trouble the political arena is in trouble the kingdoms the political kingdoms uh, they are in trouble go ask the Queen of England go ask the Queen and King of Jordan the whole world is shaking like a piece of paper you came forth to allow nothing to stop you not even sickness that would come upon you at time sometimes you're gonna have to shake yourself and rebuke cancer until it is dried up in the name of Jesus you can't afford to let nothing stop you because the time is so short it is so limited oh praise the name of the Lord evil cannot be explained by nature by education psychology or evolution there is lurking behind the terrible acts of, of human history malignant forces of evil the scripture declares a hidden history of covered evil affecting all of history and all humanity the church must rediscover spiritual warfare in order to fight the onslaught of the dragon, the uh, powers that be in the dark world that is after the human family that stands strong, eight billion, oh praise the name of the Lord. There is a force in the world today that is after the church. There is a force today that is trying to grab the human family uh, in disguise and to, to uh, cut off the breathing process like the python that would wrap you and squeeze your life out. Uh, but thanks be to God, despite the force of darkness that exists in our world, Jesus is the superstar. Jesus is the winner man all the time. He said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. It's time to rise up in our faith, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and let the enemy know that the fight is fixed. Oh, hallelujah. God has fixed the fight for the church. Uh, so with all that is taking place, uh, we are going to overcome. Uh, for those of you who are down and out, your knees are rattling and you're wondering what's next. Uh, you need to understand if Jesus uh, is on your side, then no weapon formed, hallelujah, shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn, for this is uh, the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Uh, my God, we must open our biblical and spiritual uh, armory and equip the people of God to take the faith uh, to the enemy. Uh, for the time is short. Uh, though the victory is already ours, we remain in the present world and it is our obligation to enforce uh, the victory of Christ in the world. Uh, the devil is trying to take us off our beds. Come on, somebody. Throw us on the floor and sit in the bed. But we are here to tell the devil, you are a liar. For Jesus has given us 
power. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. As a great drama comes to a conclusion with the final act, so God has written the last act in the present age. In the book of Revelation, the wall between the eternal world and the present world is broken down. History and prophecy merge as God ties up the loose ends of the ancient war. The last news I listened to, oh praise God, it is that Jesus is going to win. Oh praise the name of the Lord. Dry up your tears, church. Though there might be pain, conflict on every side, Jesus is not going to lose this battle. Hallelujah. Revelation 5 is a centerpiece of the human struggle. As it is enacted around the throne of God, we see the history, mystery, and victory of humanity. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I think I'm preaching now because I could close uh, the Bible and sit down because what I said to you, you didn't hear. You were listening, but you didn't hear. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are rare. Ears that hear, they are common. I mean that listen, they are common, but ears that really hear, they are rare. God is looking for a people right now who can hear the sound, the distinct sound of the trumpet. For Gabriel is standing right now with his hand over the trumpet, ready to blow. But God is just holding him back saying, give me another minute, Gabriel. Give me another second. There is one more person in the South African region in, oh, bless the name of the Lord. And you don't know how excited I am tonight when I see the Kenyans sitting on the platform. Praise God. As you go over to Kenya and South Africa and Ethiopia and Zimbabwe and other part of the world, you can see millions running in to God, but yet there are still millions who have not yet heard the word of God. And so having them here tonight, it is a joy and a pleasure. And we want to let them know that Jamaica is your home and the Africans are our black brother. That's the motherland of the true generation that came from the lineage of Adam, oh praise the name of the Lord. Put your hands together for our African brother, two of the original men coming to lift up the name of Jesus with us. Oh praise the name of the Lord. In spite of human error, God is the winner. Hallelujah. And we look forward tonight to having victory. We didn't come to church tonight to play games. We came here tonight to fight for our rights. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We came for a blessing and we're not going to leave that blessing. I've seen people going to church for no reason. You are wasting your time. Every time you enter the house of God, there is a piece of bread. There is, oh, hallelujah. Somebody square your shoulders, throw your heads back right now, and tell somebody, I'm ready for my blessing. Praise God. Uh, come on, talk to somebody, talk to somebody. If you see somebody sitting beside you, amen, kind of looking like they're in a wonderland, slap them and tell them, wake up and smell the rapture for the... Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Uh, somebody better get ready in here tonight because I believe I smell something. I, I, I smell something in the atmosphere. I, I, I believe God is up to something. Uh, Oh, hallelujah. If you see any demons lurking around, just put some blood on them right now because nothing is going to break your concentration in receiving the blood. Oh, hallelujah. 
Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Last night, I remember reminding us that as we begin to deal with prophecy, the end of the age, with the snatching of the, the church and the turning in over uh, of the world, it hinge and on prophecy. And remember, wherever you are, whoever you are, don't get too busy when it comes on to listening to the word of God as we remind you that we have a short time left to go. We talked last night about the different types of prophecy we have the conferral prophecy, the, the correctional prophecy, the directional prophecy, uh, the confirmational prophecy, and the judgmental prophecy. Uh, somebody look at somebody and tell them it's judgment time. The Bible said judgment will begin in the house. Uh, for the many things that are happening around us, uh, Dr. Dennis, uh, we don't need no long sermon for people to know who they are, know where they are. We have seen nearly all the prophecies that uh, was prophesied, that sh the things that should take place before Jesus Christ uh, rapture the church or before the second coming. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we learned that... Uh, uh, according to predicted event relating to the nations. Uh, and this is uh, something to show us where we are. The United Nation organized as first step towards world government uh, in 1948. Uh, it is the fulfillment of these simple things that will allow the church to be snatched by rapture and also ushering the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Israel is formed as a, as a recognized nation in 1948. Europe is rebuilt after World War II, setting the stage for a one world government. The rise of Russia as a world military and political power world movements such as the common market uh, and the world bank set the stage for future political financial event uh, red china have become m a military force uh, unmatched on the globe uh, the middle east uh, and the nation of israel become the focus the main focus uh, worldwide of worldwide tension they have the money but they cannot organize themselves to be the superpower nation. It is a sign of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The rapture of the church removes a major uh, deterrent exp uh, expansion of political and financial power of the, 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 the Mediterranean world. Uh, they have so much things going on in the Mediterranean world today that the human mind can hardly keep up with what is taking place. Uh, we look at the rise of a new leader in the Middle East uh, who later, oh my God, later is identified as the Antichrist uh, who secures power over the entire world. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, uh, Revelation chapter 5. Uh, these books, they are being read minutely and hourly, but let me hope that we are not just reading these books as entertainment. As we are here in this arena, this could be the last service that you will get the chance to plan, Elder, because Jesus Christ is closer to come than we think. The rapturing of the church is much closer than we think. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So the church must get on fire. The church must get ready. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. As I said last night, don't let the world feel 
that we're just a set of jumpers and noise bugs. But let them know that we are the representative of God on the earth. You don't know who you are. You are God's representative. Come on, somebody. The church that Jesus shed his blood for. The called out one God apostolic church. He made man in his image as his representative. But you know well that the first man had lost it. Come on, somebody. The Bible said in the first Adam all died, but in the second Adam all were made alive. Jesus is the second Adam. When Lucifer had the world rocking it up like a piece of trash, God sat in his throne room and decided, I'm going to step down in the earth for to redeem mankind that I have made up. The devil is a liar. The devil is a deceiver. Come on, somebody. Jesus is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is not a junior God. He is not a demi-God. He is the God of all gods. Come on, somebody. He is not planning to win. He has already won the battle over Satan. The Bible said he went down into the heart of the earth. Come on, somebody. Pluck the keys of death and hell out of the devil's hand and said, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He said, I am he who was dead and now I am alive. Come on, somebody. The devil trembled like leaf because the Bible said, at the name of Jesus, every, oh, hallelujah, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess up that Jesus Christ up. If at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, what about at the presence of Jesus up? Come on, somebody up. And his presence up is everywhere because he is omnipresent up. He has given us overcoming power not to worry up about the crises up of the time, up, but to read the signs of the time and to get ourselves ready. The bride is now in the dressing room getting herself ready. Come on, somebody. Look at someone and tell him, I don't want you to be left behind. I don't, I don't want you to be left behind. I know you're a bishop. I know you're a minister. I know you're an evangelist. I know you're a choir member. I know you're a singer. I know you're a good tither. I know, I know you're a good church builder. No, but I don't want you to be left behind. The Bible said, but at the time and the season, brethren, he have no need that I write unto you for he yourselves know perfectly well that the day of the Lord will so come as a thief in the night come on somebody we've got to get ourselves equipped and prepared for the final move Prophetic signs are here that we are in the end time. The Bible gives many examples of signs that should warn us of the coming end of the age. Six such signs are given by Jesus. Two characteristics are given by Paul. Eleven other occurrences are given by prophets to occur prior to or soon after the end of the age. While we are also told that we will not know the time of the end, God obviously wanted the people to know that his coming won't be a secret. Come on, somebody. Every eye shall behold him. Hallelujah. Zechariah said when he gets back, his foot will touch the top of Mount Olivet. And when he comes back, my God, the mountain will split. Jerusalem will split in two. You don't hear what I'm saying. At 
the descension of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords stepping down on the uh, the mountain of Olivet my God uh, Gog and Magog will be gathered together Russia and China and the Middle Eastern army and armies from around the world will be gathered there to face the real Christ not the Antichrist but the King of Kings and the every demons out of here we're going to ask God to fill every drug, every vase, every jar. Get your mouth ready. Get your mouth ready. God's going to talk through it right now. Open it. Somebody give God a praise in the balcony. Musician, get around the music. Shut up. Somebody open your mouth. Release some blood in here. Release the blood. Release the blood. You cannot bind a strong man. You cannot take a man's house over unless you bind the strong man. Come on, somebody. So if the devil know that God is one, he knows that God put some bass on the system. I don't want to blow your box. If he knows that God is one, how comes he had people saying that God is three spirits? Come on, somebody. The Bible said God is a spirit. And they that worship him, not them, him must worship him three God be him can I talk to the church and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth put some bass on the system Mr. Engineer I don't want to blow your box in the air my God Almighty somebody say one 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 if it's one devil, why is it three God? You want to tell me that the devil just need himself to fight and God is so weak that he need two to back him up. The devil is a liar. Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one sacrifice. Somebody say one, 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 one. Somebody give the devil a high kick. Shut him up. And give the Lord a high five. Shut him up. I feel the preaching coming on now. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Shut him up. Shut him up. They're going to smoke up every devil out of this arena tonight. Shut some blood up there. Shut him up. Shut him up. He said, I'm coming. He said, I'm coming. Somebody say, one God. One God. Shut up. One God. One God. Tell the witches. Tell the warlock. One God. Shut up. And the one God said, I tell you, I come to take over National Arena and Jamaica. Jamaica. It's revival time. He's coming again. My last trip to Ethiopia. Can you hear me now? I walked into Addis Ababa. When I check, and Haile Selassie, he's dead. Can you hear what I'm saying? Dead. His bones rot. Come on, somebody. Haile Selassie is dead. I have his autobiography in my collection. Queen of Sheba, we have her autobiography. But Jesus is alive. He is God. God of God. He is the great God. The almighty God. The immutable God. The unchanging God. 
It's a spirit of the Antichrist. Oh, shut up. It's a spirit of the Antichrist. Somebody shout, loose that man and let him go. Loose that woman and let her go. Somebody open up your mouth and shout, the blood of Jesus. Blood, blood, blood. I release the blood against the adversary. The blood against every demon in this house. I release the blood. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Shout. Shout unto God with a voice. My God Almighty. You tell me, can I talk to the church? Tell me, mothers, how can you have 
a president climbing in a White House to announce that homosexuality is beautiful. It's an alternate lifestyle. It is the end that is upon us. Never have we seen so much evil in the land. Somebody said the devil knows. The hog knows. The cow knows. The dog knows. Somebody better come get the mic. Because I feel I'm going to get in trouble. They're going to assassinate me over here tonight. I feel real rough in here. Somebody shout blood. Blood, 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 blood. Open them up. Shout the blood. Shout the blood of Jesus. Shout it in the balcony. Shout the blood of Jesus. Shout it on the other side. Blood, 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 blood. Shout the blood. Yes, the blood is working now. Hear me now. I told you last night the hog knows. The devil knows, the cow knows, the bulldog knows, but man doesn't know. The two horses that they put together, the two horses to mate, two male horses, when the act was finished, one kill himself. He break his neck right before the veterans. Come on, somebody. The dog won't do it. The hog won't do it. Lucifer himself won't do it. And he made you do it. The devil is alive. And his mother-in-law too. Come on, somebody. Look at some of that talent. I need a fresh touch. A fresh anointing. Somebody said power. Fresh power. Fresh anointing. Somebody shout fresh. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Anointing for the bedroom. Anointing for the car. Anointing for my son. Anointing for my daughter. I feel my preaching coming on now. Somebody look for to shake it up. Shut up. Let the church shout Holy Ghost. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. Shut up. Who shut up? Shout fire. 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 Shout fire, church. God Almighty, do we have water in the house? Do we have water in the house? I want to put this microphone down, but I ask one question. Do we have in the house? You're strong enough? You're strong enough, boy. Do we have enough water in the house? Somebody say water. When the devil hear you say water, the devil tremble like leaf. For blood and water destroy devil. Blood and water mess up sin. Blood and water. Destroy sin. Good. Somebody said blood, blood, blood. Blood and water. Destroy sin. Blood and water. Set the captain free. Look here, folks. God said, I'm ready to do anything you want. The altar is open now. Shut up. Get me a bottle of water. Shut up. Get me a bottle of water. Shut up. Whoosh. Begin to move from the back. Those who need the Holy Ghost, come right now. Those who need healing, come right now. Those who need repentance, come right now. Keep coming. Keep coming. And I want all the bishops to take 10 more minutes in this meeting for God.
Put your car keys in your pocket. Shanda. Even if you live at Timbuktu or Pluto or Hoi Hoi, drop your keys in your pocket and lying out here like bad dog. But there are some demons that we must subdue here tonight. Shanda Bako. All the young men in the building come right now. Young men come from the back. Young girls come from the back. Shanda Rababo Shata. Keep in your place. Keep in your place. Keep in your place. Let them come. Keep moving. Pull up those ladies sitting down there. Tell them, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Because there are some lazy demons that will not take you to the altar. But they will lead you into sin to destroy yourself. Come. Give them way. Give them way. Is there anybody inside here that need deliverance? Raise your hands right now in the building. In the balcony. Let me see you in the balcony balcony if you need deliverance come down here come down here quickly shut up Marco. let the musician keep your fingers anointed right now shut up hallelujah oh, shut up i want the christians to get down there i'm going to give you some instructions come on christians get down there can we use 10 minutes and wind up the service all right i need some good christians to be down here now shanda Marco. Satako Shayam. Keep coming, keep coming. If you need deliverance, come. Keep coming. Don't be, don't be scared. Shut up. Somebody keep on praising him over there. Keep on praising him. Give them way. Ooh, shut up. The Africans, they are here. Hold this reverend. The Africans are here. They can tell you. The last service that I preached at. For brother Teclamarian, we had one plus million adults. Are you hearing while you're coming? One plus million adults and about half a million children. I witness 164,000 people speaking in tongues in one service. Over by the children's church, 35,000 children received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in one service somebody say one but you know the difference with the ethiopians and the jamaicans ethiopians are hungry somebody say hungry hunger for god hunger for miracle hunger for signs and wonders let me see the hands of those who are standing here filled with the holy ghost Fill of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Take them down. Let me see those who are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. Not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. Rabakasha. Do you believe now? Those who have doubt that God can do things, you can take your key. Take your keys and go outside. Because all you're doing here is hindering what God wants to do. Where are the Africans? Put the Africans in the front line to stand. Oh, they're down there. Good, good, good. Go oh, shut up. They believe that God can do it. Oh, those of you sitting in the back, make sure you have no Holy Ghost because we're going to send some demons from up here. And they're coming down there looking for some adulterers and fornicators. They're going to possess your body. You better get up and start saying Jesus in the building right now. You don't want your house to be filled with demons after tonight. You better open your mouth and begin to say Jesus.
Yes, the Lord said every time you shout, you bring down my glory. Every time you shout, you bring down my glory. Everybody, are you ready for this one more time? One, two, three. Jesus! Open your mouth. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. My God, clap your hands in the back. Clap your hands in the back. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Somebody call the name of Jesus three times. Jesus, the loudest you can. Jesus, shout that name. Shout that name. My God, something is about to loosen him. Something is about to break loose in him.
Kushama. Those who need to be baptized, you can come right around and come on there. Those who want to be baptized in Jesus' name, you can come. Rabba, the Holy Ghost is here. Come on, everybody, clap your hands in the house one more time. The Spirit of the Lord is in. Clap your hands like the devil is between them. Clap your hands like the devil is between them. Open your mouth and shout one more time. Jesus! Yes, he wants to fill somebody else in the Holy Ghost.
There are some folks here right now, you need to be baptized in water in Jesus' name. You're here tonight. You're at the altars. Some have already received the Holy Ghost. I'm going to ask you if you need to be baptized. In fact, I'm telling you that you need to be baptized in Jesus' name. I want you to come over to my right. Just come around to my right at this side here. We have water, much water, and we are ready to have you baptized in Jesus' name. You're here and you're not yet baptized. Not yet baptized in Jesus' name. Come over to my right, over on this side, and we are going to be baptizing you in water in Jesus' name. Make your way around as the singers continue to lead in worship. Come right around to my right, and we, we will make the arrangement in Jesus' name. Ye shall receive what come power. Ye shall receive when the Holy Ghost come. Power. Power to walk. Power to talk. Power to live. 